Hi guys, welcome to blood vessels and the function. So you need to be able to describe the structure of the arteries, arterioles and veins, explain how structure of each of above vessel is related to its function, explain the structure of capillaries and how it is related to the function and describe uh, the formation of the tissue fluid. So in terms of the spec, we are here. And let's get started. So function of the arteries is to carry blood away from the heart so, the uh, so they transport blood rapidly under high pressure from the heart to the tissues. So this is a, a function, uh, this is the structure and function of the artery. So let's just make sense of it. So they have a thick uh, muscle layer. So we can see this here. Uh, the function of this is to allow constriction and dilation to control blood volume. Thick elastic layer, so uh, that's here now. To maintain high blood pressure, they can stretch during systole and recolis during uh, diastole, and that also smooths pressure. Thick wall, okay, so resist bursting under pressure, and endothelium. So that will allow the artery to stretch, right? Arteriolis then carry blood on the lower pressure uh, from arteries to capillaries and the control of flow, the control the flow of blood between both of them. So in terms of the structure, they are thinner than, uh, than the previous blood vessel that we were looking at. So the muscle layer is thicker than uh, arteries and the contraction allows constriction of the lumen, controls blood flow into the capillaries. Uh, they are thinner, what we've mentioned, so they've got thinner elastic layer as the blood pressure is lower. Right, veins then, so veins transport blood slowly under low pressure from the tissues to back to the heart. So if looking at the table, everything, as you can see, it's thinner than, uh, uh, than before. And they also have got valves, so that's a new characteristic. So th they have thin uh, muscle layers, so constriction and di uh, dilation uh, are not able to control blood flow. Uh, relatively thin muscle layers, so lower pressure, so not uh, so uh, veins are not going to burst or recoil. Uh, thinner wall, so low pressure, so will not burst and they can flatten easily to aid blood flow and finally valves to prevent blood flowing backwards. Right, so again here the, uh, there are our valves, so when they open, when they close, so uh, what is uh, what is the idea about this? Again, it's to do with the, uh, with the one-way flow and uh, uh, when the muscles around the veins will contract uh, the, the valves will make sure that the blood flow is maintained in one direction towards the heart. Right, finally capillaries, so uh, they are needed to exchange the oxygen, carbon dioxide and glucose between the blood and the cells of the body. So the blood flow in capillaries is really slow and this is really important to allow time for diffusion. So the structure, there are only one cell thick, so they are thin to give a short diffusion pathway. We've got large number of them to increase the surface area for exchange. They are narrow, so uh, uh, perme uh, uh, so th they've got the tissues. Uh, so every respiring cell has a short diffusion pathway and narrow lumen, so flattens the red uh, blood cells to reduce diffusion pathway. Right here, a really typical question about the structure of the capillary. How does it adapt for the exchange? So permeable capillary wall, what we've mentioned. So thin walls reduces diffusion distance. Flat and endothelial cell reduce diffusion distance. Uh, the uh, fenestrations allows large molecules through small diameter or narrow so gives a large surface area short diffusion pathway narrow lumens so reduce flow rate giving more time for diffusion 
they have a red blood cells in contact with wall, so they provide a, a short diffusion pathway or more time for diffusion, right? To summarize everything, we're going to look at the adaptations of aorta and our so what table. So that's another typical question. Elastic tissue, so uh, allows stretching, recoil, maintains pressure, muscle for contractions, thick wall, so with stands a pressure, smooth endothelium, so reduce friction, uh, semilunar valve, so prevents backflow, and elastic tissue, so uh, so they can recoil when ventricle, uh, ventricles relaxes. Right? Uh, here we've got a few questions for you. So, uh, so you can uh, freeze the screen now, have a look through the questions. Right? Ready for the checkpoint? Right, you can now have a look through your answers. So question number one, A, many capillaries. So uh, the area of capillaries is much higher. B then, short diffusion pathway, large surface and fast exchange. C, the diameter of blood cells. And D, it's a tissue fluid in the lymph. Right, uh, describe and explain the changes in the speed of flow of the blood uh, shown in the chart. So what we've got here, we've got different blood vessels. We've got uh, increase, okay? We've got pressure here, and then we've got the speed flow. So as we can see, the pressure and speed flow uh, decreases in the capillaries. This is to provide more time for the diffusion, right? Um, and uh, that will be our answer here. So the slow decrease in speed until reaches arteriolis, right? Uh, and uh, increase in total cross section area of blood vessels. So uh, so we can we can see that the pressure here in the aorta and arteries it's much higher. So does the speed. But once you decrease the the cross section, it's going to uh, decrease. Right, similar question. So we've got blood pressure increases that way, and blood vessels in here. Uh, the and the question is uh, asking you that the raise and fall in blood pressure to the uh, through those blood vessels. Uh, it's different and suggest why. So of course uh, we're talking here about the adaptation. So aorta, it's the biggest blood vessel. Uh, it's close to the heart, so it's going to carry blood at the higher pressure. So has an elastic tissue, can stretch and recoil. Right, last question. Capillary has a thin wall. This leads to rapid exchange of substances between the blood and tissue fluid. Explain why. So nothing else than our nodes, short diffusion pathway, and the blood flow in capillaries is slow. Give the advantage of this. So, of course, again, our nodes, more time for diffusion. Right, so that's everything in terms of the blood vessels. In our next video, we will be looking at the formation of the tissue fluid. Bye.